Anastasia, thank you for joining me. Uh, you are the chief arbiter at the World Championship match. Does it feel very special? Uh, hello, Anna. Thank you so much to invite me, first of all. Uh, yes, of course, it's always something special. Even it's my second time to be a chief arbiter uh, here in China. And I also I was a deputy chief arbiter once in uh, Lviv in Ukraine. But uh, you always feel special, uh, you know, like special, it's special meanings, not only feelings uh, for the arbiter to be a chief arbiter in such a high level event, of course. As you mentioned, you are one of the most experienced arbiters in the chess world. You've been at so many events. So what are the next goals or achievements for you? What are you planning? Uh, actually, I have only two events that I haven't done in my chess career. It's a match, but for the men, and the Olympiad. But Olympiad, uh, I can say this is the most difficult event. So I don't, even now when I have such a big experience as an arbiter, I don't feel I want to be a chief arbiter because it's a, it's a really, really hard, you know, so I have a lot of respect to my colleagues who achieved to do it. So what are the main uh, challenges or differences compared to, uh, for example, Olympiad, uh, World Championship match or some uh, regular big open? Okay, first of all, okay, so many players, so many countries, you know, there is some restrictions as well. So it's difficult not only to judge, to be an arbiter, but also coordinate to all arbiters. It's so many match arbiters, sector arbiters. And uh, yeah, it's a, it's a great event, but where I prefer to be in another role, not as an arbiter. <laughs> All right. And from the arbiter's perspective, what developments or changes would you like to see in five, ten years from now? Ah, that's difficult to say. You know, like from arbiter perspective, I can say that I really like the arbiter uh, the, who is working. You know, every year that we will pass an exam because you know the the life it's changing so fast. You know, we have this new fair play restrictions, fair play rules, and uh, uh, other things that I think. Uh, you should follow, you know, even the new clocks, new digital things and uh, new boards. So arbiters should be uh, on site, you know, arbiters should know the changes of the regulations and uh, also, you know, equ equipment. Uh, this is from arbiter side. From other side, uh, as a chair of uh, FIDE Women Commission, of course, I want to see that one day, uh, finally, we have uh, equal prizes for men and women tournaments and uh, women compete with the men in the match and I will be an arbiter in this match. <laughs> wow, nice. This is, a, this is a beautiful goal and you actually jumped because that was my next question <laughs> for you from the, arbit uh, from the arbiter perspective. That's one thing, but exactly you're a chair, a chairwoman in FIDE uh, Women's Commission, uh, which is yeah, very connected also to this match. And uh, now we know already you're going to plans <laughs> for the next year about that, but can you tell us a little bit about the achievement? Because last year was a year of women in chess and now we have a match for the first time in a couple of years. So what were the main achievements? Uh, what are you the most proud of uh, in uh, recent months uh, from the achievements of the Commission? Okay, for the Commission and for all ladies in chess, I believe that it's, it was not only one year women in chess, you know, it's each year it's a <laughs> women in chess year, but the uh, this year we have uh, a few new interesting projects. One of them is uh, All for Chess, Chess for All. And we try to involve as many ladies all around the world to play chess. And we did some events uh, already in uh, Asia, Oceania, Europe, America. We have plans for Africa for this year. And we are, as a side event of the, the, of the match, also we are doing, as a Women Commission, we are doing, uh, we are organizing um, Queen's Festival that already started and we had finished two divisions, Europe and Africa. So, and uh, today is America uh, and we will have a final next weekend. So we'll see who will achieve the, the first prize in uh, Queen's Festival and Princess Festival and who could um, visit next Olympiad in uh, Hungary, in Budapest. <laughs> Amazing. Yeah, this is this is a real thing because I even invited some of my students also participate. Oh, in, thank in you. So, That's good. Uh, yeah, girls all over the world uh, can use this opportunity. And uh, on this uh, positive note, thank you so much. Uh, thank you so much for joining me and for sharing all those things. And uh, have an amazing time on the remaining, remaining days. Thank you. Thank you, Anna. Thank you.